Sometimes the number of objects or items in need of treatment or in need of repair can seem really immense and it can be difficult to know where to begin. Generally speaking, the items in the Stevenson collection are in good condition. This is definitely an outlier. This is a transparent paper, so it's in three pieces at the moment. And there's also lots of tears and there's creases, so it's not safe currently to be accessed by readers um, or to be used in its intended form. Yeah, these are engineering plans, so they're still of use and still um, very valuable to engineers today. So very important to get it back into a usable condition again. With something that contains transparent papers, and transparent paper plans particularly, they would have been produced as a working collection, so they would have been used while something was being built or designed and they'd have been consulted. So often we find the condition can be quite poor, partly because of this use. The process of making transparent papers makes the structure of the paper fibres very fragile and reduces the water content. So we humidify in order to put water back in and make the paper more flexible again. We need to work quite quickly so that the moisture doesn't evaporate. We want to keep it quite wet so that it's still relaxed because the minute the moisture starts leaving the structure it'll become more brittle again. Um, so yeah, there is, a, there is a time aspect to it. So we're just very gently easing out the creases. It's quite fragile when it's wet, so you don't you don't want to pull it because it could actually could tear. We flood the surface with a meniscus of water which allows us to float the highly damaged and fragile pieces of the object into its original position without excessive handling. I can't feel any movement, can you? No. Oh, actually, oh, oh, you just did some. As much as it would be nice to just keep going all afternoon until every tiny little imperfection is fixed, we have to think about the media. We're at the point where we need to realise that if we continue to intervene, it might have a negative impact. So I think we're going to push on with lining it now. The paper selected for the lining is a very lightweight Japanese tissue. The tissue is incredibly strong by its design, so it adds a level of stability that the object without it wouldn't possess. And also takes the object from inaccessible to accessible. It means it's able to be consulted and handled by a reader and will provide protection for many, many years to come. There's no point in there being objects if they're just kept in storage and nobody's able to use or access or enjoy them. So if I can make a difference to an object that was in a poor condition and enable it to be used and have a life again, then that's really satisfying. <laughs>